Dear viewers, welcome to Noorsat Satellite Station and Telelumiere TV. Let's start with the headlines. Pope Francis calls on the world to pray for Ukraine. Their Majesties the King and the Queen affirm the important role of the Jordanian women. Theophilus III, the Orthodox Patriarchate, is determined to protect its real estate in the Holy Land. We also have a noticeable increase in tourism rates to the baptism and religious sites in Madaba. Welcome back. His Holiness Pope Francis called on the international community to put an end to the rivers of blood and tears that are running in Ukraine, appealing to everyone to provide humanitarian assistance to our sisters and brothers there, in addition to securing safe passages for people fleeing from fear and the machine of war. His Holiness said after the Angelus prayer in St. Peter's Square in the Vatican, it is not just a military operation, but a war that sows death, destruction and misery. Noting that the number of victims is constantly increasing, as well as the number of people who flee, especially mothers and children. His Holiness renewed the call to all to pray and fast on the intention of peace in Ukraine, and pray to the Virgin Mary, Mother of Peace and Humanity. Their Majesties King Abdullah II and Queen Rania Abdullah congratulated Jordanian women on International Women's Day. And during a meeting, Their Majesties brought together with Jordanian women from different governorates. His Majesty the King emphasized the important role of Jordanian women in society, politically, economically and culturally, considering that she was and still is an example of giving and achievement. Expressing his support and confidence in the ability of Jordanian women to excel and creativity in various fields. The women present expressed their appreciation to their majesties for their continuous support for the empowerment of Jordanian women and their encouragement to them to contribute effectively to the march of construction and progress. On this international occasion, Nursat office, represented by its director, Dr. Basima Saman and the team, extend their best wishes and congratulations to the Jordanian women who carry stories of achievement, giving and creativity. Christians in the world began since last Monday, according to the Eastern calendar, the Holy Forty Fast, up to the Holy Week, which is added to the fast in preparation for the celebration of the glorious Easter, which comes this year on the 24th of next April. While the Latin Church in Jordan began its fast last Wednesday, and the Forty Fast usually precedes the celebration of the glorious Easter. The climax of the Lenten stage is the celebration of Palm Sunday, which is the beginning of the week of the Passion, followed by the Thursday of Mysteries, Good Friday, and the celebration of the Flood of Light from the Holy Sepulchre, which is in the Church of the Resurrection in the city of Jerusalem. And from there, the glorious Feast of the Resurrection is announced. These days coincide with the first anniversary of the historic visit of His Holiness Pope Francis to Iraq, during which he met Iraqi President Barham Saleh and the Shiite leader Ali Sistani. And this visit is a historic opportunity to reaffirm the values of love and peace and to support religious and social diversity. His Holiness visited five Iraqi governorates and presided over several divine masses. The Ministry of Vatican Information said that the Pope Francis' visit to Iraq was important for building dialogue between religions, cultures and people. It described His Holiness's meeting with the Sistani as being of equal measures of great importance, as His Eminence focused on the necessity of spreading the concept of peace and building dialogue between different religions. On the occasion of this visit, the Iraqi Prime Minister Mustafa al-Qazimi declared the 6th of March every year as a national day for tolerance and coexistence in Iraq. On the occasion of the first anniversary of Pope Francis's visit to Iraq, a festive mass was held in St. Joseph Cathedral in Baghdad, presided over by his beatitude, the Chaldean Patriarch Raphael Sacco, in the presence of ministers, official and civil figures, and members of the diplomatic sector. The papal ambassador in Iraq and a group of bishops, priests, nuns, and a number of the clergy of different sects participated in the mass. His beatitude spoke before the audience and said, Pope Francis' historic visit was a blessing to all Iraqis. A year has passed since the visit, and the rhythm of words of tolerance, peace, harmony and coexistence is still firmly rooted in our memory. His beatitude called on all churches to continue walking together the path of brotherhood and unity as disciples of Christ. 
His Beatitude Patriarch Theophilus III, Patriarch of Jerusalem, and all the works of Jordan and Palestine, received a Jerusalem delegation led by the Islamic Christian Commission to support Jerusalem and the Holy Sites. The delegation included patriotic and political figures and representatives of families renting Orthodox real estate that are under threat of being seized in the city of Hebron in Jerusalem Gate. His beatitude assured the delegation of the Patriarchate's insistence on defending its right and protecting its real estate and sanctities, indicating that the battle to protect the properties of Hebron is still going on. On his part, the head of the delegation, Hatem Abdel Qadir, thanked his beatitude patriarch Theophilus III for his efforts in preserving the sanctities of Christian real estate in the Holy Land, at the same time praising the role of the Orthodox Church in supporting its tenants in Hebron to enable them to confront extremist associations that seek to seize these properties. With the beginning of the return of normal life in the kingdom, the number of visitors to the site of the baptism site increased during the month of February to 5,500 tourists, with a noticeable increase over the previous month. The Director General of the Baptism Authority, Engineer Rostam Mikijian, attributes this to the increased efforts of the official authorities, which resulted in the first visit of touristic groups from Spain, France, Romania, India and the Americas, in addition to other nationalities, pointing out that the government's continued efforts to highlight and promote Jordan's religious status in the world will have an impact on the growth of religious tourism in the coming months. In Madaba Governorate, the number of visitors to religious and touristic sites during the past month reached 12,000, most of them from America and Spain. Christian religious sites received the largest number of visitors, such as the site of Mount Nebo, the Madaba Visitor Center, the Church of the Map, the site of Mokkar, and the Church of the Apostles. The General Administration of the Latin Patriarchate Schools in Jordan announced that the great Lebanese singer Majdar Rumi will perform next Friday a charity concert at the Irina Theater at Al Ahliya Amman University to allocate its proceeds to help the needy students. Father Wissam Mansour, Director General of the schools, pointed out that the ceremony comes within the charitable initiatives of Mrs. Arumi, thus representing a unique model in the field of art and spreading the virtues of love and peace. Here, dear viewers, we have come to the end of our news, and those were the headlines. Pope Francis calls on the world to pray for Ukraine. Their Majesties the King and the Queen affirm the important role of the Jordanian women. Theophilus III, the Orthodox Patriarchate, is determined to protect its real estate in the Holy Land. A noticeable increase in tourism rates to the baptism and religious sites in Madaba. For more information, please visit our website www.noursadjo.org. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, have a good day.